Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump didn't waste any time bringing his campaign here to Colorado. He made two stops in our state, first in Colorado Springs, and then within the last 90 minutes, he just wrapped up his Denver visit at Wings Over the Rockies Museum in Lowry. And outside protesters with signs showed up, and Denver 7's Marshall Zellinger was inside the rally, and Marshall, a big crowd inside. It doesn't look like it right now because they're quickly taking the stage down, but let's get this out of the way. During his speech, Donald Trump blasted the media for never showing his crowds. A firefighter said there are probably about 6,500 people here. You can go to my Twitter page, 7 Marshall. Photos of the crowd, it is all there, and it was a hot and packed crowd here in Wings Over the Rockies. In fact, I'm going to be here so much that you people are going to say, please, okay, we'll vote for you. Don't come back anymore. Donald Trump's second campaign stop in Colorado was a hot and crowded wings over the Rockies. And it started by critiquing Hillary Clinton's DNC nomination acceptance speech that included 22 references to Trump. It was a little bit on the boring side, wouldn't you say, as a speech? It's like taking Salmonex. He went through his list of how to make America great again, including comparing the size of the wall he plans to build between the U.S. and Mexico with the height of the hangar we were in. You see that ceiling up there? That's pretty high ceiling. It pretty much, we don't have to go much higher than that. He's going to bring his jobs. He's going to close the border. He's going to stop the terrorists from coming into this country. We met others in the crowd supporting Trump by default. Having an election to decide between people you don't like, what's that like? That's what, we, that's what we've been given on our plate. We have to choose between two lesser of two evils. Sorry. Then there were Larissa and Kim from Fort Collins, who bedazzled their shirts with replica Trump hair. I definitely can stand behind yeah. most of what he stands for. We've never been to like a political rally or anything. I mean, this was awesome. We're going to get to say we saw the President of the United States. Go out and vote November 8th. Go out and vote. To Donald Trump's point of coming to Colorado often, I was told by a source to be on the lookout for Governor Mike Pence next week, perhaps. Something, I don't know, again, ironic or coincidental, at the end of the speech, just like the end of his RNC nomination acceptance speech, the song on the speakers was, you can't always get what you want. Reporting live in Denver, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7. All right, thank you, Marshall.